Hello, welcome to the, the next edition. Um, what it is, um, as you know, I'm on my last cycle of my chemotherapy. I'm on my tablets now. It's been a pretty, pretty weird experience. Um, it's been not unlike the previous three. Um, obviously, I've got no defense system uh, as to speak of, so I've been staying in anyway. Um, but yeah, um, the pins and needles in my hands I've been pretty uh, slow in leaving this time. Uh, even though I've done everything I normally do, uh, they've been slow in leaving. Um, they were pretty bad to begin with. Uh, so I, I did take a couple of painkillers to take it away. Um, obviously, uh, you know, my little tricks for the balking. The balking is few and far between, uh, feeling sick. Uh, you feel... I'm still on my anti-sickness though, so I, I keep taking the anti-sickness to counteract any uh, nausea that is to follow. Um, yeah, it's just a, 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 a irritation levels are through the roof, proper through the roof for uh, me. It's not irritation with people or as such, it's just a general irritation in yourself where your body doesn't feel yourself on the inside, <laughs> you're like on the inside pushing out and... It, it it's 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 a little bit irritating. Um eating and drinking has been really good on this cycle. As you know, the first couple of days are bad normally. Uh but yeah, you muddle through one or two days and then um the tim fruit, uh, as you know, uh, when I struggle drinking, I I, I eat uh, food with plenty of liquid. Uh, the tim fruit I, I got onto that straight away uh, this time. Uh, helped um, and um, the cheap cheap uh, Lucas Aid drinks uh, still drinks from Aldi you get where you pay your four four pound rather than in, in Tesco's for the Lucas Aid still where you can get the rip off version in the Aldi which is exactly the same stuff and they've really helped they've really helped I've been drinking those quite a lot drinking lots of those um, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm in my second week of uh, chemo tablets now. I'm just starting my second week now. Um, I still struggle taking them. I, I think I think it's more mental, mentally, with me with tablets than uh, thing because I, I don't leave them in my mouth too long. I don't take drink them with tea, uh, tea, tea and coffee. Don't seem to do it for me. They seem to make me feel a little bit, a little bit sick. Um, A little bit of fan today to wash that down, uh, yeah. But yeah, um, it's been a weird week. Not a week that I would I was expecting total turmoil this week, but no, so the fatigue uh, this week has been a lot worse than the others. Really, really tired, proper tired. Can't be bothered, and I mean when you can't be bothered, you can't be bothered. Um, eating and drinking is 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 is, is good as as I've said, uh, and uh, yeah, I've got got a. Um, Get through this batch of tablets, then flush it all out, and um, basically start planning um, my future. Because, because uh, yeah, I, I, we all have one. <laughs> We've all got one, and obviously the the the, the paperwork has all started now. Um, I've got to go to a workshop on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. Uh, my first workshop on Wednesday where. Um, it's been explained to me that there'll be uh, people like yourself um, dealing with what we're dealing with. Your family can come with you, which is good. Uh, so my wife and my daughter will be with me on that one. And uh, it's just basically talking about what to look out for, the do's and don'ts. Um, basically, um, any problems in the future, how to recognise anything that materialises in the future. To, uh, so hopefully that this thing doesn't come back and I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to come back to doing... Uh, things again that I've had to that I've had to do um, yeah uh, the people who've been in touch with me uh, about obviously your, your, your personal things I appreciate that you, you got in touch and um, that you trust me to t talk to you about it um, yeah my, my, my attitude is my attitude yeah people will attack this in different ways but yeah this has worked me, me being me this has worked for me because my general attitude is I'm not really 
one that gives up and I don't really shy away from anything, anything, anything that's difficult. I normally just try to get on with it and face it head on, which I've done. Um, yeah, so hopefully the, I'll take on board everything that, that these things, obviously I need to obviously start looking after myself um, being more active. I don't know how I'm going to get more active because walking and uh, doing things that, that I do and you see what she when I get out and about with my mates, they, we we I'm 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 we're pretty I'm pretty active anyway. Um, I may uh, I may start looking at other avenues of obviously keep myself going. Eating eating healthy is a big thing in our family anyway, and obviously let it slip the past couple of years. Uh, obviously we all I think everyone has with COVID and things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, but the, the the eating healthy, I'll be right on top of that now, and I won't probably moan as much when I have to, I get told I've got to eat more healthy by my family when uh, I'll just I'll just get on with it because I know I've got to do it anyway uh, other than that yeah it's all a little stage so every stage that I come across now you're going to see um, I'm not going to think of, I, 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 to be honest I, I only thought this was going to be a short term thing where I thought oh I'll just do this and just help people along through it and um, let them know what I'm dealing with and hopefully if it helps them it'll help them and maybe they can help me on things and the three months three month vlog is probably going to turn into something that's going to go on for a while because obviously with appointments things that happen pitfalls anything that comes across in the future and basically every day that I'm uh, things that I get up to as well I'm going to start putting things that I get up to on here uh, just to show that uh, yeah there's life after this there's life after being told this you don't just curl up on a ball and let it let it take over and consume you yeah you get on and you, you get on you do it and then you get through your treatment and I'm, I'm I'm nearly through it now obviously you see me ring the bell and all that that was a that, that that's the thing you ring you everyone will ring that bell before when you get the last the last treatment at the hospital uh, and then obviously you continue your treatment at home but that's uh, that's that that's something that everyone I think everyone should do but I wasn't going to do it I didn't I'm not the type of person that does them sorts of things but it wasn't just for me it was for family and the staff and what they do and everyone that's helped me that let's be honest without, without the help I got I wouldn't I wouldn't be this hopeful about the future but yeah so it's it's it, the, the, the journey will continue the the appointments will continue you'll see everything that I go through after now uh, obviously just you you seen what I've done after surgery. You've seen now what 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 the chemo entails. You, you you're gonna have seen all what comes after the chemo, and uh, how I will get treated and uh, all the support that the hospital do give you. And believe me, by the looks of this pack and the people I've spoke to up to now, oh, there's plenty of support. You will get plenty of support, but you gotta ask. If you want support, sometimes you have to ask. Don't just don't just go through and expect expect people to. Don't do it on your own. Don't do it on your own. Don't because if you're unsure about anything or anything I haven't even said or whatever, ask if you want. If you feel as if you need to speak to someone, they do counselling. They actually do counselling. They do um, phys like a uh, massage things. Uh, they, they do um, all anything to well being with the body. They'll they'll, they'll talk to you. They'll help you with. They have these the, all these resources that are available to you. I didn't have to use them, but some people will have to use them. Use them use them if you need to use them use them because that's what they're there for uh yeah so uh this is going to this probably is only a short one really considering so yeah I, i'm feeling well i'm feeling tired i'm feeling a little bit out of sorts i feel sickly sometimes but this week this fourth cycle has been a lot better than the others maybe my body's got used to certain things i don't know but yeah um the eating and drinking is all on board so yeah Stay with us on this, and uh, we'll see where it goes. But and if you're going through it, yeah, just message me, talk to me, ask me anything, and I'll get back to you. I'm not there. Uh, and like I say, you may have advice for me. You may have advice for how we go forward, how I can go forward in the future. Um, because like I say, the future's bright. It is. It, the future's there. The future's something that you're going to take on. And I, I, you're going to grasp it with both hands now because when you go through something like this, uh, a lot of things just don't seem important a lot i mean i mean a lot of things don't seem important things that seemed important before and you look at look and think about you know, why did i stress over that sad thing that thing that just means nothing so yeah we'll go through this and we'll sort it out 
and uh, yeah, big smile and all the way. I'm going to be smiling forever now. I'll tell you what, it, it, I hope you do as well. And uh, yeah, so I'll let you know what, what the work party entails on Wednesday, the workshop it's called, and uh, what, they, what they tell me, what they think, and I'll let you know about that next week. And yeah, so this blog's going to go on for a while now. So yeah, I always uh, hope you stick with me, and I hope it's helping someone. And I know it's helped someone because you've been in touch. Thanks for that. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Big smile. And it is a whopping big smile. And we'll keep big smiling. Bye now.